I historians today we're going to be watching The Bad Batch season 1 episode 12 Rescue on Ryloth which means we're going to figure out what happens next. Stressed about that. Excited to see Hera and Chopper again. Hopeful The Bad Batch are going to come and help and yeah reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance and let's go. How unfortunate for your people to see you fall. Do you really think that people will believe it? Yeah. Come on, was it Hauser? But doesn't Order 66 just mean that they go yes sir, no sir? Sir, the people are not insurgents. Mm -hmm. We have no cause to arrest. You have your orders. Yes sir. Is he a bit resistant to Order 66? I mean, I know Order 66 was just kill the Jedi, but didn't it like... I was under the impression that it had also just switched them into just being like blindly loyal, obedient soldiers, like with no free will whatsoever because the chip was activated that was kind of how i thought it went Shh. i'm here hang on i'm both very stressed because i'm convinced that this is where Hera's mother's gonna die and so happy to see Hera and chopper we need to send out the transmission and fast yes you do my love he's a defective unit hunter Oh, even their droid is defective. They're not. None of them are defective. Don't worry, we're defective too. I need your help. You gave her our comm channel. For emergencies. And, and this is like an emergency. I love Omega so much. Her heart Perhaps is so huge. The situation is not as we can't put ourselves on the line every time someone's in trouble. Why not? Isn't that what soldiers oh. do? Bless this girl's heart. Reminding them who they are. Who they can be. I'm so happy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so convinced this is going to be tragic. What is Thank you for coming. Omega and Chopper on the screen together. You would. Omega. Let's that, see what we're up against first. That kid is your leader now. Guarantees. Omega's looking at him like, we're doing this, Hunter. An attack on your beloved senator has left you shaken. Yeah, he wasn't beloved by anyone. That's not what happened. Your brother. Crosshairs here. This is a messy, messy situation. Oh no. Let's hope it didn't transmit anything. Oh, good. Uh oh, indeed, my angel. All my father wanted was peace on Ryloth. Why is this happening? Because of the Empire. Is the people stand behind. No matter what, that this would have happened. To... What you're asking us to do is not I worth do this. understand, but maybe we could not just take a breath and try and work out if there really is any plan. You shouldn't have said that. Being strategic. Trying to save her family, Hunter. I'd do the same for you. Oh, this little girl is just like a knife to the heart. All we need to do is think of a plan and convince Hunter. <laughs> Why would he listen to me? That's what I'm trying to do. Admiral Rampart's squad is So is the chip a bit wonky her. with him? She's or does it not control them as much as I thought and the rest of the clones are just dicks? Please, if you know Where is the control console? Right inside the main gate. Look at our baby so rebel. Chopper can sleep inside. All right, you two go with Chopper as backup, but at a distance. Really? really? <laughs> By themselves. I guess we'll follow your lead. Oh, what a baby rebel with her first plan. My angel of chaos. Oopsie. Uh, how are we going to do that with one of those? She's a strategic genius. Pilot, right? Yeah. Well, come on. She's never taken off or landed before, but yes. Kira and I are working on it. Just don't shoot down our shuttle. Wait. <laughs> what Here we go. <laughs> These children. <laughs> it's so risky. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. The 
fact that she protected Chopper first and foremost as her priority, everything to me. Omega, I'm registering multiple explosions near the refinery. Yes, you are! That was us. Cannons are down. <laughs> These kids. They are mercenaries, but I didn't hire them for this. Hera did. Hera? Where is she? Is she safe? Sort of? We are getting the Not really. Trap, wait! You're walking into a trap. There's a squad out there waiting. How is he not a blind Empire obedience man? You can't stay here. They'll know you helped us. I will not abandon my squad. They're good men. I have to try to get through with them. Go. While there's still time. So he wasn't affected by the chip in the same way as everybody else. Fuck. There are other good regs out there that weren't affected somehow. It's not just the batch. I guess. Makes sense. You brave fool. So they're not as blindly obedient. So some of the clones aren't and some of them are. Effective chips or... He bought them the time they needed. Here is the payment Terra promised. Keep it. You'll need it. These occupations are happening on other planets besides Ryloth. Come along, Hera. Her mom survived. Signature. We didn't do too bad. <laughs> do you have to go? For now. But I'm sure I'll see you around. I hope so. And keep an eye on your brothers. They need it. Mm. I will. I love this so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're a wonderful girl, Omega. You inspire people everywhere you go. Request permission to hunt them down. <sighs> Granted. I mean, I was sort of under the impression at the beginning of the season that that's what he'd be doing, so <laughs> yay! You're gonna fail, or they're gonna help you. I absolutely love this arc. It might be, it's up there with my favourite Bad Batch arcs. Um, Obviously, there haven't been very many yet, um, but just seeing Hera and Chopper again and seeing the beginning of this sort of second fight for Ryloth. Um, I was convinced Hera's mother was going to die, um, like get killed somehow because she's not, I swear she's like, she does die at some point, doesn't she, under the Empire? If I'm totally wrong about that, then yay. Um, but I suppose there's more fighting, more time. Maybe we'll see Hera again in this show, maybe we won't. Um, but it was just so wonderful to see her and to see her kind of doing her first act of rebellion, her first act of coming up with a plan herself, with trusting her own instincts, with inspiring other people that she is right, that she does have a plan that is worth following. Um, both her like leadership skills, her tactician skills and her pilot skills. You could see the woman she's going to become right there. Chopper, Chaos Gremlin of the century, Chaos Gremlin anywhere around? Perfect. Um, so this was fantastic and to kind of get to see a part of this story that we'd heard bits and bobs about in the Re in Star Wars Rebels um but to see it for the batch to be part of it for Omega to be part of it to see once again her heart and her belief in other people seeing everyone for what they're worth and for their goodness is everything and you can see the way it inspires everybody else and when she said to Hunter you know this is what soldiers do isn't it we protect people I think that kind of a lot of that got lost along the way with the Clone Wars and the I mean, the, the sort of the way it all ended with Order 66 and all of that, you can kind of get put into such a self-defense mode that he kind of forgot the person he once was and the person he once wanted to be. And Omega is reminding them of that, that they can be so much more than the Empire ever wanted them to be. So I love that they helped. And I had a suspicion they were not going to ask for any payment. And I'm very glad that they didn't. Um, so that was also lovely. Very stressed, obviously, the Crosshair is now going to make it a mission to come and target them. I initially, when they put his squad together, I had assumed that they were just going to be sent to, like, take down those rogue, that rogue threat. Um, but I suppose until they had proved to be a consistent thorn on the Empire's side, they weren't worth the effort. Whereas now that they are enough of a problem and Cross is coming after us, that's going to make for some fun episodes. I'm so torn between wanting them to just, like, you know, put Crosshair out of his misery. <laughs> 
um and hoping that they manage to because i feel like if they're gonna get the deactivate the chip they're gonna have to somehow capture him subdue him get him to a medical facility do the procedure like it's a whole thing it's gonna be a lot more drastic one of the biggest things from this episode at least as far as i have interpreted it is that the um the brain control chips don't work in everybody it's not just the batch that they don't work in because hauser and those men of his who stood down they aren't blindly loyal to the empire like the rest of the clones are i mean even when it activated in wrecker's head after the repeated blows to the head he was just like wait you guys are enemies to the empire i'm gonna kill you all including a child whereas he was like well no i'm not gonna blindly kill a child for the empire so that is very very interesting is that part of why they ultimately phase out the clones completely because the brain control chips don't work as well as they wanted like yes more than half of the clones in that squad stayed loyal to the empire but a third of them didn't and that is a big number so is that part of why the clones get phased out and conscripts or kind of whatever like you know the the, the stormtrooper stopping the clone troopers etc very very interesting um and also just very sad like hauser i'm so glad he like he delayed them enough that cross i didn't stop to think are there any other routes of escape they're doing because he was distracted by what he was doing on the ground but he did in appealing to his men he did just get the four of them that were loyal killed um which is sad but very very interesting that it's not just the batch that the, the chips are defective in the, the chips don't work in even which then makes it you think like are they just lucky that the four of them happen to be the ones that it didn't work in i suppose with echo it didn't work because of how much his brain had already been through this is a fantastic, fantastic episode of a fantastic show. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance, and thank you so much for watching.